dodges both the bludgers, throws the quaffle with his curveball, and scores the match point. The match was terrific. Cool. Is that your diary? It's just plain stupid. What is? Quidditch. People running around on brooms chasing flying balls. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Worse than a fantasy. <laughs> but it's real. Well, I must admit, though, it's an interesting point of view. I've never seen it like that. But maybe it's just the muggle parts in you that finds Quidditch stupid? I am not a muggle. I have none of their dirty blood. Shh. I am the best student Hogwarts has ever seen. And one day, I'll be the most powerful wizard in the history of time. I can assure you. I'm just a second year student, Tom. And I hardly know anything about myself. But there is one thing I do know. You're exceptional. I have no doubt. You will surely become the greatest wizard ever. Grisha McLachlan graduated at Hogwarts in 1950. Second class order, Lord of Morgana, untraceable for two years. A personal investigation, I guess. I might be offended, considering how amazingly you broke all my men's bones. I was expecting a much more interesting witch, and clearly not an alchemy expert. Such a peculiar displacement technique. Which kind of magic is it? It surely doesn't look like a common disapparation. Listen to me, General Makarov. You're making a mistake. Oh, you know my name. Surprising. But we'll agree, miss, that sneaking into an Auras warehouse of the Soviet Department Without any kind of authorization is a way more serious mistake than any I might have made. And we're talking about a highly protected and concealed warehouse. So... I can only... imagine... how serious your purpose is. So I ask you... What do you want? Miss McLaggen. You have something that does not belong to you. Something essential to complete my investigation. And yet, we did not receive any request of cooperation from the British Department. So, I deduce this is a private matter. 
isn't it, Miss? You have to help me. You have no idea what is at stake. Why don't we test the wonderful effects of the potion that's entering your system right as we speak? What were you trying to steal, Miss McLaggen? Long. To Tom Arvolo Riddle. As I thought, Tom Arvolo Riddle. After Gila Grindelwald's fall, the Soviet lands were still brimming with dark magic. Artifacts that that bastard and his followers had been forced to hide after their defeat. But one of the Reconnaissance teams had come across something unusual. An object damn well protected. Most capable among us gave up his life to overcome such magic. A diary, apparently belonging to a Tom Mavolo Riddle. The mysterious disappearance of a boy ten years ago. Clean record, no kind of connection to Gila Grindelwald. Not one of our disillusionists has been able to obtain anything from those pages. Not a single damn word. Then you turn up. A British aura on the trail on the murder of Hepzibah Smith and... Of Tom Mavolo Riddle, our Mr. Nobody. Why? That diary. That's the only clue I have. My only chance to stop Tom. Tom? Or oh, you mean Mr. Riddle? I didn't know you were friends. Or intimate, even. We were friends. The four of us. <laughs> we wanted to change the world. The four of you. Slow down, let's talk about Riddle. According to the investigation files found in your bag, he seemed to have been implicated in various crimes. And one which the most scandalous in recent years is... The homicide of Hepzibah Smith. Because that's what you believe, isn't it? It's a long story. That started way before the murder of Hepzibah Smith. Persuade me. Tell me every single detail. I imagine you've already heard of the four founders of Hogwarts. What many people don't know is they have descendants. Descendants! The armor! Unusual choice to use with Pendo. Congratulations to both boys. Uh, bloody hell, I had a feeling this time. <laughs> I thought I'd win. <laughs> you should move your legs more. You're not ready with an Expelliarmus? Dodge. I'm sure you'll remember it next time. I train every single day for this. One day, I'll beat you, my friend. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a long way to go before you can defeat a senior. Oh, <laughs> go on. Have a laugh while you can. Now I make an oath. One day, I will be the strongest wizard ever. Stronger than Dumbledore. Stronger than you, Wigglef. And then... I will marry you, Grisha. Oh, God, here we go again. I will marry you, and we'll have some beautiful babies. I, I'll find the lost cup of my house. I'll get back the ancient castle of Helga Hufflepuff, and we'll live happily ever after. What do you think? Enough with this nonsense. Come on. This will probably be my last reunion here in Hogwarts. We have many things to discuss. Come on, Grisha. Say something. All right. <laughs> Let's make a deal. If you really become a great wizard, 
As you say, you will be strong enough to defeat Tom. Tom? Yes, exactly. If you defeat Tom, then maybe I will consider your proposal. Tom. Don't make me laugh, Grisha. All right, all right, all right. Everyone at school knows that you have a crush on Tom. But so what? He may be a buckwim, but but no, he's not even remotely as strong as Wiglaf. Oh, really? Mm. So you think you can beat him now? <sighs> Me? No. Not now. All oh, right. He's a seventh year student, so I think. Stop. That's enough. You look like kids fighting over chocolate frogs. Wiglaf, we. <sighs> We're just joking. 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 Do you remember why we're here? Do you remember who we are? Why, regardless of the different houses the sorting hat sorted us in, we are bounded forever by a destiny we cannot change. We are the heirs. Exactly. Heirs? What does this mean? Are you really- Shum McLagan. Descendant of Godric, and heir of the bloodline of Gryffindor. But the files don't say anything about this. The descendants from the Founders does not appear in official documents. It is a secret, guarded from one generation to the next. And the other heirs? Wiglaf Sigurdsson, heir of Ravenclaw. And Lazarus Smith, heir of Hufflepuff. We trained. We studied. We did researches to find where our ancestors hid the heirlooms of the four noble houses. But in the end, we were just a bunch of children dreaming of changing the world. And... Tom Riddle? The fourth heir. The heir of Slytherin. So, he was a friend of yours too? He was. But Tom was different. He has always been. That day, something broke. And remember, we took an oath. We. we the heirs will we'll fight so that evil will be eradicated. We will bring peace and justice. We will make the world a better place. Such a nice speech, Captain. Don't worry, Mr. Riddle. We are honored. We are nothing but low-rank wizards, right? How could we expect a noble Slytherin like you to lower himself to the vile rule of punctuality? You're right, Captain. Now, you may be the only wizards except from Slytherins I even dare talk to. Not like they're worthy, mind you. Grisha, he dematerialized. We're in the Room of Requirement, idiot. We were talking about the sacred heirlooms of the houses. Perhaps you care. Oh, big news. Actually, Grisha and I were discussing about who is the best wizard between you and Wiglaf. Well, I was just... Stop this. What's wrong? Afraid to lose your spot, Cap? Hmm? There's never been any Cap. Oh, come on, Wiglaf. It looks like you're afraid of Tom. You could beat him in a heartbeat if only you wanted to. You'll see, Grisha. Well, this is new. Is that so, Cap? Guys, stop it! I won't fight you, Riddle. But I think you want to. This is the last time. We'll actually all meet, yes? Now or never? Right, right. 
There's no reason for us to fight. You are not my enemy. For now. We're not talking about a deadly duel, Cap. Just an amateur fight, you know? Tom, maybe... We all know how much you care to prove that the raven is superior to the snake. Enough! <laughs> Relax, Captain. It was just a joke. Come on, Captain. Where is your sense of humor? Well, you actually never had a sense of humor. All right, Grisha. Rigat does want to fight Tom. I'll try myself. And then you'll have to marry me. What? <laughs> You don't want to, Lazarus. You know well that you are not ready for this duel. Yeah? We'll see. Lazarus. Lazarus, enough! You hurt Tom! Listen to the elders once and for all. Of course. Tom! 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 You'd like everyone to always listen to Tom! Lazarus! Stop this! <laughs> you don't have any other ace in the hole, Laz. Oh, oh. Bye bye, Grisha. Lazarus just wanted to get my attention. But Tom, something took over him. Like a shadow. Lazarus! Hungry for power. You broke his arm! Willing to do anything to punish the weaker and claim its own unquestioned superiority. That was the end of everything. More or less. What happened then? A few days later, the school year ended. And that meant the end of Hogwarts for Wiglaf and Tom. And yet, I still don't understand how all of this can be linked with the death of Hipsipa Smith. After his school years, Tom asked Master Dippet to be able to stay on as a teacher of Defense Against the Dark Arts. But Dippet declined, and recommended he wait a few years more. So Tom, model student, and seen by many as the new promise of the Wizarding World, disappointed everyone by taking a job at Borgen and Burks, a dealer of dark artifacts and memorabilia in the slums of Nocturne Alley. Yeah. He works there for a few years, then he mysteriously disappears. Just a few days before the discovering of Old Smith's body. 1955, the year of the scandal. House of murders her mistress. Death by poison. Cold case. The house elf confessed. So, Miss McLagan, I ask you one more time. What does Tom Riddle have to do with Hepzibah Smith? Hepzibah Smith, descendant of the Hufflepuff family, aunt of Lazarus Smith, the one true heir of Helga. Interesting. What did Lazarus do after school? Lazarus was the only one among us heirs to find his ancestor's heirloom, the Hufflepuff Cup. But... Someone was chasing him. A powerful, dark wizard determined to seize the cup. In his message to us, he wrote he would hide the cup at his Aunt Hepzibah's, an old fanatic crone, so that it would be safe. But when the owl delivered the letter to us, it was too late. Lazarus Smith died just a few days before his Aunt Hepzibah.
and this dark wizard would allegedly be Riddle. If you think Riddle is involved, what proofs do you have? How can you be sure? Because I saw it. There are wizards capable of showing things that go beyond space and time, Mr. Makarov. Albus Dumbledore. He had always had a great respect for Tom. Nonetheless, he may be the only one that always knew how dangerous he could be. Just a few days after her mistress's death, Hockey the house elf died, probably shocked at discovering she was the murderer of Miss Hepzibah. But once more, fate was on Professor Dumbledore's side. He managed to access the elf's subconscious, drawing out her most hidden memories. Which memories? What have you seen? They overwork you at that shop. I have said it a hundred times. Well, what is your excuse for visiting this old boring lady this time? Mr. Burke would like to make an improved offer for the goblin made armor. 500 gallons. He feels it's more than fair. Now, now, not so fast. Or I will think you're only here for my trinkets. I am ordered here because of them, madame. I'm only a poor assistant who must do as he's told. Mr. Burke wishes me to inquire. Oh, Mr. Burke. I've something to show you that I've never shown Mr. Burke. Can you keep a secret, Tom? Will you promise you won't tell Mr. Burke I've got it? But you, Tom, you will appreciate it for its history, not how many galleons you can get for it. I would be more than glad to see anything Miss Hetzelbeth shows me. So, wait for me here. Wait a minute. What I still have to figure out is... How did Tom Ritter know that Miss Smith had the cup, if she had only received it from Lazarus days before? His employment at Borgen and Burke's was clearly part of a plan. What better way to find out about the legal traffic of heirlooms and magic artifacts? Miss Smith was a regular customer. Tom knew she was a Hufflepuff, and he knew her affection might prove useful. And it did. He figured Lazarus would give her the cup, and he seized the opportunity. I'm sure you like this, Tom. Oh, if my family knew I was showing you. They can't wait to get their hands on this. I wonder whether you know what it is, dear. Pick it up, Tom. Have a good look. So? A badger. So, this was... Helga Hufflepuff's cup. As you very well know, you clever one. Didn't I tell you I was distantly descended? This has been handed down in the family for years and years. Lovely, isn't it? And all sorts of powers it's supposed to possess, too. But I haven't tested them thoroughly. I just keep it nice and safe in here. Ha! I think you'll like this even more. Lean in a little.
Mr. Burke sold it to me years ago. <laughs> and I dare say he'd love to get it back when I'm gone. Slytherin's mark. That's right. I had to pay an arm and a leg for it, but I couldn't let it pass. Not a real treasure like that. I had to have it for my collection. Burke bought it, apparently from a ragged-looking woman who seemed to have stolen it, but had no idea of its true value. Hepzibah didn't have any clue what a heavy impact those words would have had on her fate. The woman who sold the locket to Burke? Merib Gaunt, heir of Salazar Slytherin, mother of Tom Riddle. Are you alright, dear? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm very well. Your eyes, I thought, but a trick of the light, I suppose. It's funny. How sometimes chance intertwines so devilishly well with fate. Don't you agree, Miss Smith? Dear boy, I... The Seeker chases the Snitch so assiduously when he finally grabs it, firmly holding it in his hands. He simply realizes the game was already won. Uh, what do you mean? Poor sweet Lazarus. Such an erratic and unpredictable boy disowned by the Hufflepuffs. But he was so proud of his roots to risk his life looking for Helga Hufflepuff's cup. The lost heirloom of your family. How do you know about Lazarus? How do you know the cup was lost? And he trusted again the very same family that denied him his Hufflepuff descendants. Handing the cup to you, hoping to keep it hidden from dangerous people, people like me. You what? But my luck seems to be endless because I bet your dear nephew ignored that you also owned the noble Slytherin heirloom very well. The one that I was so desperately looking for. Finally it's mine. Do you want my treasures? Take them, you can keep them. I find it almost disgusting. Your nephew has done so much to find this relic and restore your family's name. And then I look at you. So sickening, so revolting, so old. Your living proof of how low the four houses have fallen. If Hufflepuff ever had a worthy heir, that was Lazarus Smith. And now he's dead. By my hand. You did what? He wanted to raise this world to higher ends. He wanted a peaceful and just world, like all four of us heirs. But you don't have to worry. His dream will live on with me. You are a Slytherin's heir! Oh, Tom, I have a secure vault at Gringholz. I'm rich. I I'll do anything you want. I'll give you everything you want. Tom, dear, I beg you. Tom! Tom, I beg you. Enemies Tom. of the air, beware. Tom impeccably staged a first-class scandal, a false memory charm, an undetectable poison, and just the right touch of theatricality. The house elf pled guilty. Merlin's beard. That night I paid Tom a visit. Tom! Unaware of the crime he had just committed. Aloha, Mora! Desperate. After Hogwarts, 
Tom cut off all ties with us, Ez. After Lazarus died, I was terrified. What if Tom had managed to find one of the heirlooms he was looking for? Lazarus's murderer. Would he have come for him too? I got there late. Tom had vanished. I was the only one who still cared about Tom. The only one who still believed in him. The only disgusting little girl still blinded by her feelings. But to what end? Why retrieve the four founders' heirlooms? Horcrux. What? Horcrux. Do you know what this word means, General? A power so dark that only a few dare speak of it. The only known form of immortality. Tearing a fragment of your soul to confine it into an object. What kind of object? Who knows? Might be anything. Or maybe... something you really care about. An object which represents something which is bound to a memory, which is a part of your past. Like a diary. So you think that the diary we obtained is a Horcrux? I can't say for sure, but I'm sure that both the cup and the locket are now more than simple heirlooms. And I think he won't stop there. For what we know, he might already have gotten to Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem. Weak love. What happened to Ravenclaw's heir? It's a nasty wound. Now stay here, be quiet and wait while I finish this healing potion. Hoping that this will work. After all these years, why did you look for me? Because we have a common goal, I guess. And I even guess that in this world, there still is someone I can call my friend. That someone is you. Things are getting worse. Now they call themselves Death Eaters. <laughs> Hilarious. There's nothing we can do. Not as long as the Enigma remains unsolved. We searched every single inch of those ruins, but there is no sign of the sword. You mean, Godric Grisendor's sword? Probably the only heirloom Tom still couldn't find. What are Wiglaf's intentions? We have to stop him, Wiglaf. If he manages to take all of the sword, well... Uh... We have to save him! <laughs> he opened the Chamber of Secrets. He killed Lazarus! He's been... betraying us. Always! He is true evil. And I will eradicate him. I will bring justice. There's still some good in Tom! <laughs> I know it! Tom... Who is Tom? No, Grisha. There was never a Tom. He has always been. He's always been? Go on. Nothing. The name just... It doesn't matter. I guess the very serum is starting to wear off. Wiglaf tried to stop him, Mr. Makarov. He tried, but now... He's dead. Dead? He had no chance with him. First the badger, then the raven. 
I'm the only one left. The only one who can still stop the serpent. The only one who can still save Tom. Save him? From what? From himself! That diary... If there's a way to stop him, it's in there. It is a fragment of his soul. Of his life. Of his past. And mine. The train leaves in an hour. You better pack your things. Is this how you say goodbye? Since, as you know, I am head boy, it will be almost impossible to say goodbye on the train, so... What's the matter with you, Tom? Sorry? What's the matter with you? What's the bloody matter? Why do you always make things go wrong? Looks like you enjoy seeing the world go to pieces. Lazarus will be okay. Wiglaf, well, you know. We are alike in many ways. It's normal for us to be in conflict. But he will take his own path, as I will follow mine. And me? What answer do you have for me? You are a seeker, right? You know too well how the game works. You have to catch the snitch. You have to chase it. You have to grab it to end the game. But it never rests. It's unstoppable. It whizzes at top speed. And if you want to catch it, you must not be distracted. You cannot think. No past, no future. What about that diary, then? Memories are made of something peculiar. Trying to catch them can be dangerous. The good ones, they're hard to catch. The bad ones, on the other hand, they're even harder to keep away. You will run away, won't you? You will disappear, I know. It's in your nature. But you can't run away from who you truly are. You can't run away from your past. Farewell, Grisha. Since that day, have you seen each other again? No. Not yet. Ah, Krariche! A subai station. You're accused of serious crimes, young lady. Attempted robbery of materials held by the Soviet Oras Department. Resisting arrest, contempt, but I suppose there might have been a big misunderstanding. True? You told me everything, Miss McLagan. And unless you are immune to Veritas Serum, you said the truth. But it's still your own truth. I cannot be sure what you said actually happened. We need facts. 
You need proof. No one would believe such a convoluted and inconsistent story. Not even I can truly believe it. Yet, I see something extremely sincere in you. Something different. We cannot use this diary. It doesn't belong here. If the owner really is Tom Mavolo Riddle, then it's a problem of the Brits. So, I'm giving this diary to you. I'm sure that you can work on convincing your department to take your investigation seriously. After Gallard Grindelwald, I'm sure they wouldn't want another dark wizard on their hands. Am I right? General Makarov, I... Please, take back your wand and the rest of your personal belongings before you use the port key you'll be given. I'm sure I will hear more of you. Yes. Be well. Thanks, General. Oh, Miss McLagan. The diary. What I cannot figure out is... How did you know we had it? I didn't. Or maybe... I did. What is... Who the hell? Who, who, who are you? My name is... Voldemort. That's not possible. Transfiguration. There's nothing that powerful. The Verita Serum. Darkness hides secrets. Far more powerful than just a simple potion. General, you violated my soul's tomb. The tomb where my past lies. Grab him! Enemies of the air, beware. Whomever these remains belong to, is of little importance at this point. Probably a sacrifice for who knows what kind of dark ritual. It was a woman. Come on. We must go. Before we get caught in the storm. Grindelwald was defeated. But is notwithstanding. Because of him, good people must still die. When will it end? It has no end. <sighs> there will always be darkness in this world, Igor. But darkness is all that we have. How else? Will we remember the light? <laughs> <laughs>